and welcome back to the House Lane Channel. Today, we're going to talk about an essential part of the ductless operation, the charcoal filter. What actually it is, how it works, and how to change the filters. There are two types of charcoal filters. We have our charcoal filters with the chips inside for wall-mounted range hoods. And we also have our cotton filters for our under the cabinet range hoods. But what is activated charcoal and how does it work exactly? Good question. Well, let me tell you. Activated charcoal is actually charcoal that is additionally processed to absorb gas molecules. Now, what we're going to do is using oxygen to heat the carbon to a very high temperature, the impurities are actually going to be vaporized and removed. Now, this is going to create pores on the surface. Did you know that one gram of activated carbon actually has a surface area of 32,000 square feet? That's a lot. But once it passes through the filter, the gas molecules, they would actually be captured on the surface. Now, these charcoal filters are amazing, but the unfortunate part is you actually can't reuse them. Still amazing just can't reuse them and it's for a good reason why you'd have to actually heat them to such a high temperature that all the hard work we've done to remove the toxins would actually be re-released into the atmosphere now to be more specific you'd actually have to get an inner gas chamber heat it to 900 degrees celsius let me put that in perspective 900 degrees celsius you don't want to do that so once that happens it's actually going to release the toxins all the vapors all the bad stuff back into the atmosphere. So, in other words, don't do it. Now, here's our filter, and we're gonna take it and show you a cross section. We've cut this filter in the middle to show you exactly what it looks like with the activated charcoal bits inside. These little pieces effectively absorb all the cooking fumes and odor, all the nasty stuff that you're going to get from cooking, and reabsorb it so the air is nice and clean. Now what we have here is our cotton charcoal filter made of non-woven polyester impregnated with finely ground activated carbon. This also has the advantages of activated charcoal. What's going to happen is the activated charcoal is going to react to the gas and effectively trap it inside. The grease particles are going to be trapped in that nice clean air. Now we're going to show you just how easy it is to change your charcoal filters. Now in front of us, we're going to have two range hoods. We're going to have our wall-mounted range hoods. Remember, that's with our charcoal chips filter. And we're going to have our under-the-cabinet range hood with, there we go, our cotton charcoal filter. Now set that down. And first, let's take care of our wall mounted range hood. We're going to take our filter, place it right on the side here. Just get up in here. It'll be really easy. And we're going to push it in and twist it slightly to tighten it. And you're going to have two sides to it. So make sure you don't just do one side, but you do both. Get down here, and we're going to look at our under the cabinet range hood. We're going to take our cotton charcoal filter. Make sure you also have the wiring as well, otherwise, you're not going to get it on. You're going to take it, and it's going to be a three step process. All right, so you're going to do one on the bottom corner, and the other on the bottom corner, like so. And last but not least, let's get that top in there all set just like that and our under the cabinet is done and our charcoal filters are all set now as I mentioned before the charcoal filters are not washable so you'll need to change them every two months to make sure your range hood is effective and working properly the next video will be about how to change your grease filter you can watch it in the link provided thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to the Houseland channel.
because of course you want it. And for any comments, tips, unboxing, or questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.